With her strong leadership and vision, Principal Michelle Dennis Nitsche has reinvigorated St. Cajetan Elementary School in Chicago's Morgan Park community. She began her career in education in the Chicago Public Schools, where she taught for 14 years before taking a break from the workforce to care for her four young children, Marty and triplets Brian, Billy and Molly. When she stepped into the principal role in 2016, Michelle brought an inspiring energy and led the school with an unerring vision in mind. Under her leadership over the past six years, St. Cajetan has increased its enrollment, conducted fundraising campaigns that have netted more than $2.8 million, and designed and built new STEM and technology labs for its students. In recognition of these efforts, Michelle was recently awarded the St. Thomas Aquinas Award from the Archdiocese of Chicago. Education was something I was always passionate about. I loved children. Um, and I knew that from a very young age. And I didn't just want to go into education, um, but when I started my career, it was important for me to go to a place where I could serve those less fortunate. So I started my career in the inner city of Chicago and I spent 15 years there. Watching a child go from the unknown to the known and being part of that process um, and an integral part of that process, it, it, it's a pretty special thing to watch and it's a really rewarding um, path that we get to take. I have a ritual that when I wake up each morning, um, I say the phrase, bless us, O Lord, for these thy gifts. And that's how I start my day. And that's a really big part of who I am is being so thankful for everything that is in my life, good and bad. But each and every day I count as a blessing. I, it's a blessing that I get to work in a school and a community where I'm supported and people are so caring to each other. Um, and it, it's a blessing that I get to go home to an amazing family each and every night. I am extremely blessed to have a supportive husband who is there at times that I can't be there and picks up the slack when I'm not around. And it's just a team approach to everything that we do. I truly feel I would not be the person I am today if it weren't for my four years at Macaulay. Being part of Mother Macaulay in a school that was all female allowed me to see that opportunities exist everywhere. In the theater department, in the athletic department, on debate teams, they were all led by young women, which was pretty powerful to watch. I think one of my greatest opportunities at Macaulay was playing on a volleyball team and uh, we were fortunate enough to be state champions. I also played a role of a captain on that team. Um, so I naturally had to take on a leadership role and be put in situations where we had to work through tough situations and work through challenges with teammates. So I think so much of who I am today and the things that I learned stem from that experience. The core of liberal arts education and what Macaulay does is just so forward thinking. When I think of their classroom development and how they geared their classes with um, team building and higher order thinking, uh, those are all skills that I, I mean I use on a daily basis in my job as principal here at St. Cajunan. Faith, I felt surrounded me each and every day at Macaulay. Um, we had daily prayer, we had um, different faith-filled events and mass. Um, and then I think most importantly to me was just being surrounded by people who truly had such a deep faith. When Mary Klingenberger first called, I actually thought she was calling to report that our eighth grade students scored so high on the entrance exam and were being awarded a scholarship. So I was so excited for that phone call when I saw her name uh, and then that was not the news I received and she shared with me that I was being inducted uh, and I have to be honest I was utterly shocked. I thought me? <laughs> I'm just a little principal on the south side of Chicago um, but what an honor, a truly an honor from a place that is so near and dear to my heart um, and really is the root and foundation of all that I've become to this day. It's an honor to share uh, this recognition with so many, many amazing, powerful, ambitious women that came from Macaulay. Uh, and I can only hope 
that I get to inspire some of those uh, future Mighty Macs walking down the hallways. I would tell a future Mighty Mac to always stay true to yourself because character matters so much. I would say to always set goals for yourself. Don't ever put limits on what you can achieve. And to always remember that God has set a path for you and to trust that path. <laughs>